Hi everyone, this is Susie from Soil Mates of Georgia. Today I'm in my garden with my eggplant and this video is just talking a little bit about eggplants. This is my first year growing eggplants. It was a really slow start. My first one, I was all excited, shriveled up and died. And um, this is probably my fourth one. It is super healthy. There's no marks for any type of um, worms or beetles. So I'm gonna go ahead and harvest this one today. And um, this one right here needs a little bit more time. I'd like it to be a little bigger. Basket. Um, this leaf looks a little damaged, so I'm gonna just take this one off. And this tells me it's time to apply some neem oil. Maybe I have some beetles in here. So I'll be putting neem oil on this evening when it cools down. And it's also time for me to fertilize again. I try and do that every two weeks. So, um, this eggplant is doing really well. I didn't take off the suckers, so I actually have this, from the main branch, I have two other main branches, and it's produced more eggplant, and it is really growing. Um, the blossoms look great, and I've been super happy with this. And I have to say, I'm used to eggplant just being eggplant parm, but I've, uh, come up with a really good recipe for this that I'm going to add below because it was just too delicious not to share. And I've now become a huge fan of eggplant and I actually got some new seeds for um, baby patio eggplants. So we'll see how that goes. So um, that's it. Just wanted to talk about my eggplants today. Thanks for joining me. But wait, there's more. So I am making this recipe today, so I thought I would show you exactly what's in it. I'll still add the ingredients and everything below. Um, so let's come over here and see what's in it. So you have the eggplant that I just picked, an heirloom tomato that I grew, goat cheese, a little bit of sea salt, some gluten-free soy sauce, some Greek extra virgin olive oil, and organic fruit and nuts. You can really use any nut with this. And I like some dried cranberries as well. And then some honey, we try and use some local honey. And these are the ingredients that will go into the um, eggplant concoction that I've created. Okay, so first I'm going to cut the eggplant into little slices. Then I'm going to put them on this sheet and drizzle it with a little olive oil some sea salt and I'll put them all down and then I will put this in the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes but after 10 minutes I'm going to turn them. I really have to watch this to make sure that it doesn't burn. Okay so this was a small eggplant but this is just a little snack for Alex and I. It's going into the oven. I'll check on it in 10 minutes. So I'm going to put my timer on and the light so I can keep checking on it. Oops. My light. Okay. All right. So while that is baking, I am going to do the rest. So I'm going to put in a little bit of soy sauce, gluten-free, just a few dashes honey, a squirt. As you can tell, I don't measure things. 
and that's okay. I put in a few handfuls of the nuts. This has um, you know, some walnuts, um, just trail mix. It's just a mixture. I really like dried cranberries, so I'm gonna put some of that in. And goat cheese. What doesn't taste good with goat cheese? And then I'm gonna mix this up, add a few diced tomatoes in, and then the eggplant when it's ready. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes on each side. Notice how it's a little bit brown. They're not soggy, they're staying together. So this is how you want the eggplant to look. I'm gonna come over here and just show you, I'm going to cut the eggplant into small pieces. Um, so this is a, in about, I don't know, one fourth pieces like that. And then I cut them all up. Okay, so I'm gonna take some of these heirloom diced tomatoes and I'm going to put them in the bowl with our mixture. Mix it up a little bit. I'm gonna add some olive oil, the extra virgin olive oil into the bowl. Just a little drizzle. I'm gonna mix it up some more and then put it into our bowls. And then the last part is adding the eggplant. And again, this is just a light, healthy snack. And it's just for Alex and I. So uh, it was a small eggplant. You can go ahead and use a lot of eggplant and double the recipe or triple the recipe. Okay, so the recipe is done. Um, this is Alex's first time trying this. I'm a little nervous. I've had this before. Hopefully he likes it. It is good. I told you. <laughs> I was scared. <laughs> Light, fluffy, healthy. Yeah, it's real. It's so many like, layer after layer of flavor. Yes. Yay. All right. Well, wow. thank you so much for joining us today. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bye.